Hey, this is Mike again from Helium Street, and welcome once again to another episode of the Red Series. So this is a situation where we were monitoring a temperature of an existing installation, and we determined that it was just getting way too hot. It was an attic installation uh, in a, above a garage, and we decided to bring it down. So we determined that the top area of the attic, you know, it was getting extremely hot, and so we decided to move it down to the next level right below. So this created a great opportunity for us to upgrade the coax, uh, with some really great wire from uh, MPD Digital, and of course, uh, links in the description section and go to heliumstreet.com for all the parts and the pieces for this installation. And by the way, before uh, we get to it, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. It uh, really helps the channel reach more people when you do that. Hit that bell icon so that you can be alerted of future content. This is an application where we had a miner already installed up here. You can see already the surge protector and actually there's the miner. But what we decided to do is we want to bring it down to main level because we've sensed with our temperature sensor, which is right here, we've, we've been watching the temperature and we're getting up around 130 degrees up here. This is getting pretty warm in this region. And so we're going to bring the miner down to main level. I'm a little out of breath because I just got done hogging that hole out up there. And what we're going to do is we're going to fish a brand new piece of LMR 400 down from here down to a hole in the uh, roof of the garage. And then we're going to install it downstairs and I'll show you that right now. And we're going to put it on the main level of this garage, which is a lot cooler. Uh, definitely not going to exceed the operating temperatures of the miner down here on the main level to where we're going to be putting this. There's my LMR. You'll see why I got a white piece there. MPD Digital is really cool. You can buy this LMR 400 in white and uh, and also black. And so I've got all the connections right. And what we're going to do is we're, we pop the hole in here. We're going to put it in an electrical box, uh, basically a, a 110 plug and also a blank side. And then we're going to fish a bulkhead connection through for the end type connection. And then we're inside this cabinet. You won't even see the miner. It'll be inside this cabinet. And then we'll continue to monitor uh, the temperature inside this cabinet with this uh, with this Goovy temperature sensor. And that just alerts us to when the temperature's getting to certain levels, which down here right now, it's beautiful. It's, 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 it's 120 upstairs and it's like no problem 80 degrees down here, so. Okay, so just finishing up up here, I took apart the old 240, LMR 240, and I put in the LMR 400. I'm using the same lightning arrester that I had and I still have the ground here, and I have the ground here on the um, the ground here on the mast, and the ground right here on the lightning arrester. Those are two 10 gauge wires that go all the way down to the ground at the bottom, and down there to the electrical service. Hey, I thought I'd pause here real quick just to say, hey, yeah, I understand a lot of you are probably wondering why we ran two wires all the way back down where we could maybe just join those wires uh, up top and just bring one ground wire down to the ground block. Well, yeah, you can do that. Uh, I did two wires just because the homeowner had already run one wire and I didn't really want to break into that with another wire. So I w went ahead and ran my own all the way back down. Um, so that's just a matter of personal preference. Obviously, you save some money and save some time if you just join those wires up top. Uh, and you can do that with one of these split bolts. And if you want to know a little bit more about how you bond two wires together, check out this video that we have in our blue series. That'll give you a good description of how we did that. Uh, that bonding uh, of the two wires. Uh, so back to it. I've got my drip loop right here for my LMR 400 and I've got my hole. Obviously I can't really show you right here's the hole. I'm going to be packing that back full of, of the sealant that uh, that we're using for uh, this to match up with this white siding and uh, you can use all sorts of different things for that. Just thought I'd mention that this is my coax seal. I keep it in old tape dispensers. I cut pre-cut the pieces so that when I get up here at the site, I can um, just easily grab a little piece and go. And if I need, a, need another one, I just grab another one. I don't have to f fuss around with a huge roll that's uh, hard to handle up here. As you can see, we're just finishing up the box here. We've got our uh, LMR 400 poking through here. We're, we got the bulkhead connection where we'll put the bulkhead connection on that and then that'll poke its way through the uh, box. So there we go. So this is the this is the bulkhead connection that we're going to put up on this box. It's it's a it's a just a basically a um, 
it's a fitting that we got from MPD Digital so that we can put the, uh, the N-type male into the back of this and then have an N-type male connect to it that connects then to an RPSMA connection into the miner. Pretty, this is gonna be pretty, pretty slick look. I like this. All right, there's the final product. Uh -huh. We got the, it's plugged in. We got our LMR 400 coming into it. And there is the, and there is the miner and the temperature sensor. And um, it's all ready to go. So that's our new revamped uh, red series uh, miner. Now it's gonna be a lot cooler area. Hey, thanks for sticking around until the end. Look, uh, if you wanna find out more about the parts and the pieces that went into this installation, go to heliumstreet.com, go to the Red Series tab, and that again, that's gonna open up a whole list of all the products that we used for this specific installation. Um, you can do that through mobile or you can do it through desktop. Um, you know, either is, it works out great. You can also pick up a lot of those links in the description section of this video. And really important, like and subscribe, and hit that bell icon. That's gonna help this video and other videos on our channel reach more viewers. Because um, we all know, the more helium miners that are out there, uh, the more uh, witnesses we will have for our installations. So, um, hey, you know, thanks for being here and we'll see you in the next one.